What's going on guys, I'm Jiffy Nano, and welcome to another episode of my gear guide series for Borderlands 3. In these videos, I'm going to showcase a piece of unique gear, tell you where to get it, what it does, and if it's good or not. Now, if you want to see more weapon guides, character builds, and other looter or shooter related things, consider subscribing, because I plan on covering all kinds of games and gears, so you won't want to miss it. In Borderlands 3, there are four ways to get unique or legendary gear. Those are world drops, designated drops, specific drops, and quest rewards. Quest rewards are fairly self-explanatory, they are things you receive from story or side quests. World drops are items that can drop from any lootable source in the game. If it gives you loot, it can drop these items. Badasses and bosses always have a higher chance of dropping world drops. Designated drops are items that have a particular boss or enemy that have a higher chance to drop that item, but these items can also drop as world drops. Lastly, specific drops are items that can only drop from one specific enemy and can't be found any other way. In this episode, we're going over the legendary Hex Grenade. The Hex is a legendary Atlas Grenade mod that can drop in Shock, Radiation, and Cryo from the Sky Bullies and the Anvil on Eden 6. When thrown, the Hex will float around and shoot multiple elemental beams at nearby enemies. The Hex used to be the strongest grenade in the game, second only to the pre-patch Pipe Bomb. Even though this has been toned down quite a bit since launch, you can still get quite a bit of work out of this grenade and is a staple or even a centerpiece of a lot of builds out there. To farm the Hex, you'll need to fight the Sky Bullies and the Anvil on Eden 6. Their arena is about two-thirds of the way through the map, and their respawn station is just outside of it. The hallways leading up to the Sky Bullies do spawn some pretty strong enemies, but you can, should be able to run past them fairly easily. Now, sometimes two Sky Bullies will spawn, but this has only ever happened to me one or two times while farming, so if you get lucky, you can double your chances. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below what you want to see next. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so YouTube actually shows you my uploads. Check out my Twitch channel where I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoons. Link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Not today.